Hello, welcome back folks. This is the Scientific Angler, my name is Ronan. The video you're about to see is from August and we'll be fishing on Loch Corrib. We go down there for a week, twice a year. So the first time we go down is in May, we fish the Mayfly and the Buzzers and the second time is in August. Now in August you'll see a wide variation of flies. You'll see sages, you'll see the old Mayfly coming off because there's a second hatch towards the start of August. However, there was three days out of the week that we couldn't go out because the conditions were just too rough. The wind was too strong, there was white caps on the waves. What you're about to see now is day one. On day one we caught them on the dries and the wets. I believe Green Peters were the, were the best flies of the day. Pearly Dabblers as well seemed to be the fly of the week. Enjoy the video folks, I'll be back shortly to tell you about day two. Nicer. Okay. Yeah. 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 He doesn't like a net. Okay. He doesn't like a net. Seems they've gotten lighter. Yeah. Come out of a two on maybe. Not sure. Day two was much of the same. We had some on dries, we had some on wets. Um, you'll see in the video coming up now why I always say that the corb trout are pound for pound the hardest fighting trout. You'll get a trout over two pound maybe, and they'll fight like a four or five pound trout. There's some amazing dry fly clubs that you're about to see now as well, so keep an eye out for that. And I'll see you shortly, folks. Enjoy day two. That's good for us, though. You get your line on. It's going way out. So. Watch your rod. Oh, 
Uh, point flea, so it purely dabber. Nice fish. Yeah. That's not the same trout there, is it? Does it? They're fighting hard that size, yeah, you know what I mean? It's just well mended. Um, Fight like fucking twice or so, I feel like. It's still a decent trout, I guess. Right. Over two pound them. Uh. Got that. Yeah. Yeah. You alright for me to keep me lying? Rush. Nice fruit. Yeah. Mm. Heavy look. So day three, we were limited as to how much time we had out in the water just because of the weather conditions that I mentioned at the start. Uh, we were out for about two hours and we caught a few fish. Um, I put a double hook up on here, which you can see now. Uh, we ran into a couple of schools of small fish. Uh, but just watch this, enjoy it, and then the best of the video will be at the end on day four, so keep an eye out for that. Peter on the hike out there. Oh, there's two on. <laughs> I thought I'd seen the splash as soon as we fly hit the water. So day three was short and sweet, day four was much longer, we had really good action on the dry fly. Um, most of the action was caught on this fly. Now if you want to see a tutorial on how to tie that fly, let me know. Um, it's a dynamite hurry, but I put some deer hair above the post. 
So if you want to see a tutorial on how to tie that, let me know and I'll make one for you. But enjoy day four. Station one, man. Fat anyways, like this. Put in the corner here. Okay. Yeah. Just turn out the hang up. Mental cues. Same again. Same sort of thread. That's just about losing confidence in that play, you know? Yeah. I took it off and all, and then I put it back on. I was like, yeah, I'm hurt. Get his head down, nice. Can I can't get him up at all. Fighter in this. Yeah. He's a good fighter in this. He doesn't want to poke his head up at all. Oh. Nice one there. Yeah. Uh, like deep one, you say Mark, nice colours. Nice one. Thanks for watching the video folks, if you made it this far in the video do me a massive favour and subscribe, we're over 400 now and we're on the road to 1000. Um, if you did enjoy the video leave a like as well and in the comment section down below let me know what you'd like to see more of or less of. Keep an eye out for the next video, I'm going to be posting more regularly on this channel. Thanks for watching and tight lines.